The decisions of the US Congress and the UN on how to handle Syria's chemical weapons now hinge on two days of meetings starting Thursday between Secretary of State Kerry and Russian Foreign Minister Lavrov. Good morning and welcome to the News Hub. I'm Michael Casey. Uh, joining us to break us down on how these meetings pan out is Greg White, our Moscow Bureau Chief. Good morning, Greg, or rather I should say good afternoon to you. Good afternoon, Michael. How are you? So this is a complicated situation. Um, cl clearly the, the Russians won't be too keen on what I understand is the, the main demand from the US right here is that is to approve airstrikes uh, as a backup measure uh, at the UN Security Council. Um, tell us where they stand on this. Yeah, that certainly the, uh, this is where the details of the pro proposal from uh, this week that really changed to transform the diplomacy on the Syria situation. That this is where it all hits the, the rubber meets the road, and it's going to be uh, quite a difficult task. One of the big issues, as you mentioned, is this one of do they include in a UN Security Council resolution that would uh, cement this plan? Would any sort of uh, ultimatum or threat of the use of force against Syria for not complying? The Russians are uh, staunchly opposed to that. Uh, the French draft that was circulated earlier this week included something like that and then has, has been removed. It sounds like today's negotiations and for the first phase are, uh, are even uh, earlier in the process than, than that. They're just discussing the technical uh, details of, of how putting a uh, series chemical weapons under international control would take place, what steps would have to take place. I mean, this is, this is pretty remarkable. This is a country that uh, until earlier this week never actually publicly admitted that it had chemical weapons. Uh, so uh, there's an awful lot of work to be done in a, oh, in a country with a civil war underway. And then, um, that, that issue you, you highlight there, I think, it just speaks to the trust factor. Clearly the Americans do not trust the Syrians, and perhaps not the Russians either, that there will be compliance here. What are Russians saying about the, the, their commitment and how confident they are that, that this thing will in, indeed result in a, in a near total, at least, handover of uh, Syria's chemical weapons? Well, the Russians argue that this is uh, uh, that the Syrians have promised it that it uh, uh, that that's how it'll be, and uh, they they argue that this is a gesture of uh, goodwill on the 